As a litigator with 20 years of experience, I sometimes forget that most people don't know what happens in a trial. So let me explain how a jury trial works in a criminal case. The first step is actually jury selection. We get to select 12 jurors from a group of approximately 60 to 75 members of the Delaware County electorate. We will ask questions of those jurors. We will determine whether or not they have biases or some reason why they can't serve. Then we have a right to strike several jurors for whatever reason we want, looking at their biographical information. Then after the jury is selected, opening statements happen and then the presentation of evidence. What is the presentation of evidence? That's the time when witnesses get put on the stand and documents and exhibits get admitted into evidence and shown to the jury. The Commonwealth goes first with their case, and then the defense has a right to rebut their case, meaning that we put on evidence to counter what the Commonwealth's witnesses may say or not say, and their exhibits look like or don't look like. After all the evidence is admitted, then we have closing arguments. The defense goes first in closing here in Pennsylvania, and then the Commonwealth follows. At the time of closing argument, that's the time for the, the attorneys to put what was presented in evidence into basically a narrative form in favor of their client. Finally, the last step is jury deliberation. The court gives, the judge gives them instructions, the jury is sent back, and then there's deliberation. In Pennsylvania, all 12 jurors in the criminal case must agree unanimously on a verdict, either guilty or not guilty. If that can't happen, then the is declared as a hung jury and a mistrial is declared and the Commonwealth has to choose to retry you.